Welcome to Digging Deep with Pastor Yemi and Pastor Dayo Ogunsenya. We hope this message encourages you and builds your faith. Join us weekly as we dig deep into God's Word. Welcome once again and a beautiful evening to you. Uh, welcome to Digging Deep. Uh, I am Pastor Yemi Ogunsoya, uh, one of the pastors here at Faith Chapel in Mississauga. With me once again tonight is our own pastor, Pastor Dayo. You are welcome. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. What a joy to have you again in this uh, Bible study. God has shown us amazing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was made to understand that we are only scratching the surface. Mm -hmm. But hey, let's keep scratching the surface. Very soon we'll be getting inside. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Last week we started discussing uh, on the power of imagination. And uh, one of the things we looked at is the definition and what imagination is about. And to this week, today, we are going to take it further. But as we always do, it's good to start with a word of prayer. Pastor, can you help us out there? Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you one more time thank you. for bringing here, us here to your presence yes, Lord. and giving us your word of life. Yeah. We are grateful to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the power of imagination. Thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for yes. you, you created us in your image and you put the good things that you have that will help us inside of us. Thank you because you are actually now refocusing us back to what we need to be successful in this life, especially in the area of our health. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word that we receive tonight. Thank you. Thank you for illumination. Amen. Holy Spirit, teach us. Amen. And we receive your ministry tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's go back again, pick it up with our scriptures. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. Five. Isaiah Amen. chapter 26 and verse 3. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5. We will be looking at the King James Version. The King James Version. It says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Amen. That's a and terrible state to be. <laughs> evil continually. Yes, that was when evil ah. perpetuated the yeah. earth and uh, everything, you, you know, just turned around. Mm. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, uh, we can look at the New King James Version real quick. Isaiah 26, verse 3, the New King James Version. Amen. You will keep him in perfect peace yeah. whose mind yeah. is stayed on you yeah. because he trusts in you. Amen. 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 These are two amazing passages of scripture and the common there is a commonality with them the imagination and perfect peace whose mind the same word translated imagination is translated mind, mind. yes so uh, we could have said in in genesis 6 5 that the this mindset or the things they think on were evil continually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in Isaiah 26, we could have said, uh, whose imagination mm -hmm. is stayed on you? Who okay. keeps imagining God and the things God has provided? Mm -hmm. So those two words are interchangeable. And last week, we defined imagination as the God-given ability to see something that isn't present or real at the moment. And I think some, some places in the scripture as well, the, the, the scripture uses thoughts yeah. as, you know, to mean imagination, imagination. sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. because sometimes we will be looking, okay, mind, what we have in mind and what we have in our thoughts mm -hmm. could be imagination. Just like that scripture, Romans chapter 1, verse 21, talking about uh, the people that did not glorify God and they became useless. In their mind, in, in their, their mind, in yes, their mind. Yes. He said even when they could see mm -hmm. everything to be known of God mm -hmm. has been made known to them. Mm -hmm. 
Now, they still wouldn't. Refuse to glorify God, yes. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not that, oh, I didn't know. It's, mm -hmm. They know. Mm -hmm. And like when we were treating the subject of Romans, the, mm -hmm. the book of Romans, we mm -hmm. dwell on those. Uh, one other thing that we said last week is that you use your imagination every minute of the of day. The day. Yes. Your imagination is the part of you that conceives. Mm -hmm. It's your conception area. It, the and, womb. and everything we do, we conceive it. Mm. Just like every woman that has ever had a baby had to conceive in the womb. Mm. The same way we have, every action that you have taken was conceived in your mind. You use what we call imagination from the word of God to see that thing before it actually happened. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. And, but one other thing that we mentioned is that uh, sin and the fall of man has trained us to use our imagination. That was the condition of mankind in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. Is it negative? Negatively. Mm. In those times, there's a, a, a chicken eat chicken philosophy. The end justifies the mean. Mm. It doesn't matter what you do, just knock your neighbor out of the way and take over what belongs to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a, we are not walking in love. Mm. And man got to that. Man was not created with that, with that negative imagination. God put imagination in man to be able to function like him in his image. But sin made us to deploy what God meant for, evil, for good. We use it negatively to hurt our neighbors and ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now Christ has come to reverse the situation. And now we can learn how to I use imagination positively and become who God has called us to be Amen. and be a blessing to our generation. Amen. And that's where we are. Today we are going to look at the purpose of imagination. imagination. Why did God put imagination, that imaginative ability mm -hmm. in us? Mm -hmm. uh, especially in the area of healing. And let's just put this out there if you are hearing, sir, ma, it's not a question of somebody praying over you. It's not a question of uh, you making confession. You can, somebody can pray that is called to minister healings and you can make confession and it may not work. You can make confession, it may not work because you, like you are, you are onto that trail the other time you just mentioned uh, well, some minutes ago. Watch your thoughts. Your thoughts create an image in you. Mm -hmm. yes. And when that image is negative, until you get rid of that negative image, you cannot manifest what you are saying. That's why Jesus, God said, my, these people, they, they're saying the right thing with their mouth, but their thoughts, in other words, their, their, their heart, their, their thoughts, their imagination is far from me. Hmm. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, when you will not do? And nobody can do anything without engaging their mind. That means they purpose in their mind not to do it, but they speak the right words. Amen. So to manifest healing in your body, you have to see yourself ill. Remember, we said one of the components of imagination is the ability to see. Mm -hmm. You have to see. Now, let's, let's look at some places in the Bible. Let's look at Jeremiah 1 from verse, 12 to verse, uh, from verse 11 to verse 12. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? What do you see? In other words, what, this is the beginning of Jeremiah's ministry. Whatever he sees will determine how far he can go with God or how far God can use him. God said, what do you see? And he told God what he saw. And in verse 12, God said, you have seen well. You have seen well. You see the right thing. We don't know what was what the things before Jeremiah, but he chose to focus on the almond tree. It's, that was not the only thing that was visible to him. If not, God will not be asking him, what do you see? There must have been other things to see. But he made a choice to see what God wanted him to see. And God said, you have seen well. He said, I am ready to perform my In other words, I cannot perform my word until you see well. You have to see. Healing cannot show up in my body until I see healing being available to me 
and uh, attainable. I have to see it available and attainable. It's, uh, God has, grace has provided it, that means it's available. And then it's attainable through faith. If I don't see those two things, I cannot manifest healing. Mm -hmm. Even though it's, av it's available, God has provided it. Uh, uh, this is a major problem in many people not receiving their healings. Why? Because uh, especially those that have had a long-standing problem, the sickness has gotten into their mind. Mm. Every time they see themselves, they see themselves sick. When in healing school, when I ask people, when you are 80, what do you see? Some will say, wow, I see myself in a uh, old, wrinkled, bent down, probably nursing home. And if they don't change that image, that's what is in them. They are expressing what is in their imagination. Or if they don't change it, by the time they are 80, that's the, state, that's the condition that their body will be. Mm, mm, mm. But for people that have been sick over a long time, they see themselves sick, they think sick, and they plan sick. Mm -hmm. They make plans based on when you are 80. Some people will say, what's the purpose of living long? By the time you are 70, you are just sitting down doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But that's not God's plan. At the age of 80, God is a specialist in employing people that we call old. Mm -hmm. At the age of 80, God called Moses and gave him an assignment that would keep him active for the next 40, 40 years. years. There were, Joshua was 40 years younger then. How come God didn't go to a 40-year-old man? Why go to an 80-year-old man? Mm -hmm. So, Joshua too took over the leadership. At what age? If it's in our time, he will have entered retirement. Mm -hmm. So God called him out, out of retirement to lead after the departure of Moses. And we can see this play out. Uh, uh, that the picture we see some cannot even look beyond today. You ask them, where do you see yourself in two years? How do you see yourself? They don't see anything. Mm -hmm. And with such people, God cannot perform his word. Mm -hmm. You have to see right. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, you know, we already know the source of imagination mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. And he gave us imagination for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And the purpose that God gave us the imagination is being underutilized yeah. or negatively utilized. Yeah. The purpose of imagination is to paint a picture of our future. Yeah. And if purpose is not known, it abuse is mm -hmm. inevitable. Yeah. So the, is, it is not the purpose of our imagination to paint a wrong yeah. uh, picture of our future. It is to, pa uh, to paint a good picture mm -hmm. of, our, of, of our future. Yeah. Because according to the same the book of Jeremiah, chapter mm. uh, 29, verse mm. 11, the Lord God said, I, I know, know yeah. the plans that I have for yeah. you. They are of good and not of evil yeah. to give you a future yeah. and a hope. Yeah. So God has already had a picture of our future for us, no, which yeah. is good. Yeah. It is, yeah, and he has given us the gift of imagination to look into that picture that he has painted and begin to imagine that picture. Amen. So the purpose of our imagination is to, uh, 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 to agree with God yeah. and begin to dream big. Mm. I remember uh, Andrew Womack said in 2002 uh, that God corrected him because he wasn't dreaming big enough. He wasn't yeah. imagining big enough. He was, was limiting he was God's limit ability. ability for him. And that's what we, many of us do. Uh, and I'm not going to remove myself from this equation because I'm part of it. You know, God has been correcting me lately that I think too small about what he has for us, that he wants us to think big. Mm -hmm. You know, in the book of Psalm 78, the children of Israel, they limited God. Yeah, yeah. After seeing all that God had done for yeah. them, but their imagination was yeah. so small yeah. and so negative that when Joshua sent, uh, Joshua and uh, uh, when Moses sent Sorry. them to go and spy out the land, mm -hmm. they took that negative imagination to even the land that God gave <laughs> yeah. to them. And what our imagination is, whatever it is that What was can... their imagination? They said, 
uh, we have we are bread for them. Uh -huh. They, we are, like they are giants. We can't do it. We cannot do they it. They couldn't see themselves taking the land. And, and, and that reminds me also of something that I wanted to say about our imagination. Because many a times uh, in, in this, and I think we're probably going to talk about it in the next, the next time we are speaking about the process of imagination. When we're, when we're thinking about, our imag uh, about imagination, we use our past experiences to, yeah. to determine what our future will be. And that's not what God is calling us to do. Like you talk about the people with chronic illnesses, those who have been stayed, you know, those who've been long in Ill sickness and stuff like that, they cannot see the future yeah. because of the past. Because that's the same thing that happened with the children of Israel. They suffered so much in, in Egypt for 430 years. All they could see in Egypt were giants, people yeah. that were making them to suffer. So it was impossible for them, for many of them, except for Joseph, uh, Joshua and Caleb, to see what God had for them. But today, I think we, uh, what we want to do today is to let ourselves mm. know that the purpose of our imagination is not to think about our past, mm. but to imagine what God has done for us. Amen. To begin to bring a picture mm. of our future from mm. the, the word that God has given unto us. Amen. P praise God. Amen. Let's look at Proverbs 23, 7. Thank you for those Amen. Uh, illumination that you have shared on the on the, uh, the, the purpose of imagine, imagination. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 23, 7, in the Passion Translation. Mm -hmm. I like the way the Passion Translation puts it. Proverbs, Proverbs 23, 23 7, 7, in the Passion Translation, it said, For as he thinks within himself, mm -hmm. so is he. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the major word. Mm -hmm. In other words, whatever you see, wherever you see yourself, whatever you see happening inside you that's what is going to play out there yes, yes, amen yes, yes. now uh, in in ministering healing to people over the years what god has taught us to do is instead of just rushing to pray for people to be healed we try to plant the seed instill healing into them mm -hmm. because if they can conceive healing inside Healing will show up outside. Yes, sir. And that's very important. In Joshua 1.8, Joshua 1.8, this is what God told Joshua at the onset of his ministry. Mm -hmm. He said, this book, which is the, uh, the seed basket, the book of the law is the seed basket. God told Joshua, they, as at that time, they only have the Pentateuch. Mm -hmm. This is the five uh, books of Moses. Of Moses. Mm -hmm. He said, this book of the law shall not or must not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate. meditate. Or in other words, you shall Imagine think. it. <laughs> Imagine what is written in the book mm -hmm. day and night. night. Mm -hmm. Engage your mind. Think about it. Picture it. Mm -hmm. You know, ruminate, muse on it mm -hmm. day and night. God said, when you are doing that, then you will... The King James said, then you will see. Mm -hmm. The word observe is the word see. Mm -hmm. Until you engage this force of imagination, you cannot see what God is saying. Mm -hmm. But if you can see it, then you can take hold of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, to make, now, Abraham can't go, the Bible wasn't written in his time. So he couldn't go and look at Joshua 1.8. Mm -hmm. So God, do, and God doesn't have time to, to, to tell him to wait. Mm. <laughs> so what did God do? He used, he, he taught what him and on. Mm -hmm. In Genesis chapter 13, mm -hmm. Genesis 13, 14 to 15. This is what God, this is how God taught Abraham how to use his imagination. He said, the Lord said to Abraham, mm -hmm. after Lot has As separated from him, lift up, lift up your eyes uh -huh. now and look from the place where you are. Mm -hmm. Look northward, southward, eastward and westward. For all the land which you see, I, I give, give to you and your descendants forever. Now, God is not asking Abraham to use his physical eyes. Mm. He called him out. He said, look, see it. See the land as far as you can see mm. in your mind. In your mind, in your imagination. In your imagination. Mm. If you can imagine it, you, can have it. you and your descendants will have it. Amen. And the Bible said from the... God gave us from the river Euphrates to the Odyssey. He said, Abraham saw it all. Everything. 
And at another time, God said, count the stars. Mm -hmm. Count it. If you can, if they took him to the seashore. Count the sea, the, the sand. He said, so shall your children be. Mm -hmm. What he, God he was teaching him to engage his imagination. Mm -hmm. As Abraham was looking at the stars, he could see sons. He could see daughters. Those are the things he was seeing. Mm -hmm. And I believe he started counting. Then he lost count. He went to the seashore. He said, oh, wow. The moment you can conceive something in your imagination, you can have it. Amen. You see well, then God will do it. Amen. I think our time is fast spent. Hallelujah. Can you put it together Amen. for us tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> many times, um, because of the fact that we are not used to imagining things, mm. we now begin to rely on other people to imagine for us. Mm. In, in the place of healing, mm. we go to people to help us yeah, out. Just pray, for us. just pray for me so that I can be healed. Yeah. Just pray for me so that this headache will go. Now, God gave the person that you are going to, mm. God gave that person the same imagination, mm. the, same, the same gift of yeah. imagination mm. as you have. Mm. And if that person could develop his imagination, mm. that's the, the difference between you and that person because they are able to develop their own imagination. They're able to see that, you know, into the fact that you can be healed. So is this, you know, what I want to, you know, try, what I'm trying to say tonight is that we can actually also develop our own imagination. Mm -hmm. We can also begin to see ourselves healed. Can I stop you there? Now, I have prayed for people. Mm -hmm. People have come, and I know you have done the same thing. And this is, thank you, for Holy Spirit, for pointing that out to you. Somebody comes to me and I say, they have headache. Pastor, I have this migraine. For me to pray for that person, I have to imagine that person free. Yes. For that prayer to work. Mm -hmm. So when I'm saying, in the name of Jesus, I command this headache to go. In my mind, I am trying to transfer what I have imagined to become reality in that person's life. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. If I can't see that person heal, that, it doesn't matter what I say. No. That person will remain sick. And I have to be able to conceive that that thing is there, Amen. attainable and available. Amen. And, and to bring it you know, closer to home, when he is conceiving it, you are actually making him your surrogate person. Because remember, yeah, yeah. imagination is, you know, is something that we yeah. conceive yeah. inside of us. Yeah. So if I, am, if I was not able to conceive a child, I could ask somebody to help me as conceive, a surrogate yeah. person. And then they hand it over. And they hand yeah. that. But at the, it, it is more joy, joyful, it is more fulfilling if I can carry that child in my womb yeah. by myself. Just right? as having a surrogate birth is not the ideal way. Yes, uh -huh. yes. The same way, somebody conceiving healing for you, it's not the ideal it's way. Not the the ideal, ideal way. and primary way is it's for you for to, conceive to conceive it, it yourself. Myself. Amen. 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 So I hope tonight we have been able to, you know, to get this across to you that you can conceive your own healing mm. inside of you. Mm. You, you. I mean, we need people that God has given special gifts in the body mm. to help us sometimes, uh -huh. especially when our imagination has not developed to that area, mm. you know, to the point that we can conceive our healings mm. ourselves. But I want us to begin to practice it. Use the, the reason that God gave us imagination to create our healed self, mm. our the, the divine help that God has given unto us. So that means that you begin to see yourself healed, begin to see yourself whole, and then next time we talk, we will talk about the process Amen. of imagination. Amen. Amen. Father God in heaven, you. we send the word of healing to as many as are connected tonight, and all that will see this clip in the nearest or listen to this word on Spotify or any other medium. Father, let the same healing manifest in their body. Amen. We, con we imagine it, we conceive it, and we call it so. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If I am you, I will say thank you, Father, for you, you are for healing me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed today's message, why don't you like and subscribe to receive the latest message to keep you encouraged and inspired throughout the week. Be a blessing and continue to share God's message with friends. We appreciate you and pray for God's best in your life.